Hello viewers, uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to learn about uh, basic preparation in a cardiac setting. And uh, I have a colleague by the name Geoffrey Abwa who will take us through uh, basic preparation in a cardiac and surgery. Thank you. Welcome, just as uh, you have heard our viewers that uh, my name is Geoffrey Abwa and uh, today we are going to learn the um, preparation for a simple uh, mitral valve replacement and uh, with me here uh, just a simple cardiac set and uh, I want uh, all of you to uh, see what we you need as a preparation for a simple valve uh, replacement and um, from my left side here uh, you need a blade holder you need a short one and a long one you need a tooth addison pickup for uh, uh, retraction of the skin when you make the incision. You need uh, a number of towel clips and uh, you also need uh, uh, artery forceps or a different uh, uh, number. Then um, you also need a different type of uh, scissors. So we have valves. Uh, scissors, we have uh, uh, medicine balm scissors, we have a uh, bandage scissors to be able to cut the tubings that we have in the field. You also need to have uh, uh, tubing clamps, you need to have wire uh, holders and wire twisters, you need to have wire cutter, you need to have needle drivers, you need to have a right angle, you need a tonsil, you need an Alice clamp, you need a, a bunnies, you need uh, different lengths uh, and sizes of uh, uh, debakis and a valve faucet. Also, you need um, uh, castors, these are used for uh, to hold uh, very fine uh, sutures. Uh, this one is a uh, vein retractor used uh, in, to retract uh, the uh, mitral uh, valve. You need the cross clamps. You need a uh, sternal retractor to be able to have a good exposure of, of the sternum. And you also need the aminevis. So uh, basically I'll take you through the steps uh, 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 shortly. And um, you, how you go about it, after we make this uh, incision uh, using the blade, uh, mostly we, for us we use number 15 blade, you make incision, uh, you uh, achieve hemostasis as you uh, advance uh, through the fascia using the diatomy. Then you also need um, um, aminevis for retraction and you need the um, sternal saw which uh, I've not uh, assembled here today but you need a sternal saw that uh, when you want to, uh, to cut the sternum you're able to cut uh, the sternum with it. After cutting the sternum you need uh, to place the uh, sternal retractor and after placing the external retractor, you will be able to um, now expose the pericardium and the heart. Then um, this, uh, after we, have, we do the cannulation, we put the cannulation stitch, I'll be able to show you other com uh, consumable that go hand in hand with this instrument. And uh, those, uh, when you, do, you are doing cannulation, you need um, sutures. Mostly we are using rolling. Some, sometimes you use a 3 or 4 or uh, rolling, even 5 or. And um, I'll be able to show you that. So um, after exposing the, 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 after cannulation, you go to bypass. Uh, go to bypass. Uh, we give cardioplegia and after giving cardioplegia the heart is arrested and after the arrest of the heart we do exposure of the heart to be able to uh, 
remove the de uh, defective valve and uh, mostly we use the uh, valve forcep to hold the valve and you need the alice to hold uh, the defective valve that you are cutting and you will be cutting with the valve scissors to remove that one then um, uh, after that we be able to repair um, we put the valve in and repair the incision on the heart then uh, after closure the heart is revived again after reviving the heart um, we are able to check if the valve now is working uh, effectively using the transesophageal uh, uh, means in the intraoperative after that one if everything is okay if we if you cannulate because you can let him you need to achieve homostasis after achieving homostasis we'll be able to do closure and mostly we use wires i'll be able to show you shortly and these are the wire uh, drivers that we use um different sizes of the wires after these ones we'll put different uh, stitches for the uh, uh, fascia and skin these are our so. consumable and uh, I talked about the sternal saw here is it and uh, we we have a battery for it so uh, the blades starting from here we have blade different size number 15 and number 11 we have um, IO band IO band is we apply on the uh, to give a sterile field view of where we operate and uh, we have uh, different sutures starting from here we have this is for proline on a smaller needle rb1 we have uh, this is uh, ethibone suture number one we use for sternal uh, for retraction we have number zero vicry and uh, we use to to close the fascia and also uh, two of acryl we use to approximate the subcutaneous we have four of monocryl we use for the closure of skin we have two of acryl ties and two of silk ties uh, we use as uh, ties during the surgery we have three of earth bone sometimes some surgeons like uh, to use a three of earth bone for cannulation but sometimes we use as the traction uh, traction uh, suture uh, here we have the valve uh, uh, the suture organizer and uh, it, it when you are replacing the valve it's able to you are able to arrange the, the sutures as you uh, as you place them and um, here we have a set for valve sizes you can be able to view different sizes and uh, for different valves we have the mitral and even aortic with different uh, attachments on it here we have the bulb syringe bulb syringe we use to do uh, to be able to use the uh, normal silent in the field so this one is um, so useful here we have the dressing dressing mostly we are using the nemida but we have uh, different types of dressing on my far right here we have the uh, the wires these are the uh, wires these are the cables when we want to shock the heart uh, when it's not uh, uh, the heart has not uh, waken up uh, strongly or we have some dysarrhythmias we, we are able to connect to the attach the heart and to the uh, pacing box and we are able to pace the patient uh, here we we have uh, the diatomy and uh, here we have the younger suction here we have the internal pedals uh, here we have the pleurovac and this one uh, the cannulas both out uh, the venous cannula and the uh, uh, aortic cannulas with different suckers inside this packet
I talked about the sternal wires here are they and uh, different sizes depending on the uh, age of the patient then here we we have the suture uh, that we use for valves and this is uh, an SH we mostly use for mitral valve and um, we have a smaller needle that we use for aortic both of them are at the bone we have the bone wax in case the sternum uh, bone is bleeding we are able to use this um, here we have a bioprosthetic uh, valve that we, we use we repair as an aortic bioprosthesis and we have different um, cannulas uh, here these are suckers and uh, these are pump sucker these are weighted sucker these are vent uh, vent sucker this is the aortic root needle and we have uh, coronary osteoperfusers different angles and we have the uh, venous cannulas um, we have the straight and we have the angled so mostly for the angled we use for SVC and uh, for the straight one we use for IVC we have the aortic uh, cannula different we have different sizes and um, here we have the tourniquet um, that we, we also use and um, here uh, we use this uh, tubing to be able to make uh, uh, rubber shorts that are able to be used during uh, surgery otherwise thank you so much i hope you enjoy the show